Hello, Silver Grey Scale here, getting back to more Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. So, we're gonna start by checking in with some people here. Shantae, did you come for a long and boring speech about adventuring? Uh. Uh, no, not really. There are four kinds of heroes in this world those who complete their quest with minimal effort. And those are slow yet thorough, collecting every single treasure. Those who are quickly measuring their success in only speed. SPEEDBUNNERS! And finally, those heroes who collect everything and still do it at top speed. Every hero will receive a reward equal to his or her own effort. But which one am I, Uncle? That's up to you. Yeah, that's basically, um... The devs poking fun at the fact that speedrunning exists and completionists exist. <laughs> uh, I do love it. However, the interesting thing is up at Sky's place. Shantae, look who decided to make a surprise visit. Sky's mom, how are ya? On Cloud9. When I had my sweet little bit wetting baby bunsies found herself a handsome young man, I just had to come and meet him. Ooh, look at his fun hat. Pleasure, ma'am. You got quite a girl here. You and Joe? <laughs> Caught him removing one of my bird's nests, then we get to talking over coffee, and. Well, I guess we hit it off. You about broke my arm being uh, being cousin of the bird I uh, I done touched. Soon there'll be soon there'll be the sounds of wedding bells and piles of cry crying grandbabies. Mom, shove over, kids. Have a loading coming. This guy's dead. Ouch! There goes the back. I hope, uh, hope I hold up long enough to see those two lovebirds try to knock before I croak. Oh, daddy! That's the guy. Sup? What you do for a living, Joe? I tear down, I tears down schools and and what's converting them to long range cannons? That'll work. My daughter could have done worse. Daddy! Also, she smells like a. She smells like the barn I was raised in. Hold up now. Look at you, daughter. I fear you were just in diapers and pigtails yesterday. Laying off the marshmallow spread, girl. You're gone plump as a partridge. Honey, don't embarrass our little girl. She don't puff. Uh, she's just puffing up to attract a mate. Oh, I think it's working. Ho <laughs> ho! Bah! Have a look at this now. I brought you guys a genuine artifact from a lost world. Thought I'd spruce the place up. Give it some culture. I can decorate on my own, thanks. What do you think of it, Joe? I have to get uh, real close to read it. Got a message written on it. It says here, Death to them that one reads it. <laughs> Feel a fit unnatural. Daddy, what did you do? Jiminy, who would think this uh, this all could still pack such a wallop? Chantel, looks like your old uh, Uncle Mimic was right again. He always says evil curse to stay fresh with age. Man's a better relic hunter any day of the week. Can we please not discuss uh, your work right now? You always do this, Daddy. You want me to be single forever? There, there, don't fuss. Your friend will fix it. I will? So yeah, Sky's mom and dad. A mummy? There's an inscription. Mm, it's probably a curse, better not read it, considering the luck I've been having lately. Dead. Oh dear, another bo boyfriend down the drain. Well, I'll be darned. Now what am I supposed to do with this?
So yeah, if you talk to that guy in yellow up there, he's just like, oh, something's going on in there, you might as well check. Uh, I don't think Mimic has anything new for us. No, he does not. We got nothing else we can do, so we might as well just head for Tan Line Island. Let's do this. According to the map, this is Tan Line Island. It's hot! Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it without delay. I'll go have a look-see. You just leave everything to me. And if you feel cursed, lay back and put a damp towel all over your forehead. <sighs> Where does she get the energy to be so disgustingly happy all the time? To go. I wonder that about a lot of people, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since we had enemies run, you know, straight at us. So, I do like the fact that they, you know, included that kind of fun thing with, um, Sky's parents and her failed love life. Um, especially because they mention a mummy inscription and you're going straight to a, f to a freaking, you know, Egyptian inspired area, so... You know, it, it feels pretty fitting. So yeah, the only way to hurt the scorpion lady is to basically duck and hope that she doesn't deflect it. A mummy? There's an inscription. Hmm. It's probably a curse, I better not read it, considering the luck I've been having lately. So yeah. We can read this, and the floor crum crumbles instantly. If we had something like, let's say, a running move, we should be able to get through there. Yeah, let these guys hit you, and it will hurt. And it drops Super Monster Milk, which is the stronger version of the regular Monster Milk. Bento Box. How did Sky's dad manage to carry this all the way back to Scuttletown? Yep, here is where that one thing was. That one uh, ancient relic that turned Sky's boyfriend into stone. So yeah, we have a door here with some kind of lock. And look who it is. Oh, Hey Squid Baron, what are you doing here in all places? My vacation is ruined. Oh, right. Came here expecting to relax in the surf, feel the ocean breeze on my face and wa watch with feigned disinterest as nearby beach bunnies. Apply copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's bodies in order to be practical and sun safe. Uh, from UV rays. Okay. But I didn't know this is the off season. The only sight at this time of year are the elderly being or the elder beings and scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be purchasing a lavish home nearby with its amazing square footage and gravel and gravel landscaping at this rate. I won't let you do that! Buck up! There's still something amazing out there waiting for you! Something cliche like a lonely lady squid! Maybe you're right. If I'm not gonna stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs. I won't be needing them apparently. 
Use them to see through things if it pleases you. So yeah, we get the x-ray specs. Which is something we need to solve this area. Because if we continue on this way, we have these here. The chief wants this old ruins removed. It's gonna take my men forever and a day at this rate. Our ancestors on, Su uh, on Saliva Island never had it so rough. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. So yeah, these guys are apparently related to the people of uh, Saliva. So that's nice to know. So it's time to do some backtracking. First backtracking spot for us with these specs is down here. With these glasses I can see right through the stone. Something is carved here. It's a design of some sort. Hmm. I'll make a quick sketch. Just so I don't forget it. So, we got a mummy sketch. So we can see here that it's a sketch that captures one third of a mysterious design. So, we cannot see what that is yet. But, you know, it has to be connected to that strange dial to open the way to the temple. However, there is one... Of those mummy pyramid... Of those mummy sarcophagi, you know, out here. And then there's one that this guy's dad brought. So I think the game is basically going to force us to do some um, backtracking just right this second. So we can just take this sketch here. Sadly, we have no way of fixing um, this guy's predicament. I mean, we gave up the Petrify spell and he's basically, you know, dead. <laughs> uh, I don't think Mimic has anything new for us. Nope. He does not. Well, the people behind, uh, like one screen away from the temple, mentioned Saliva Island. So let's um, let's see if we can find the final piece of our little puzzle. Uh, right here. Plus, seeing as we're already here and, you know, backtracking, we might as well deal with that, um, um, heart squid situation down there. Ow! Just smacked me with a freaking bubble. Uh, I am being pelted. 
I mean, I have freaking four extra lives, but I don't want to spend them. Anyway, just use the gun on that switch, and boom, heart squid is yours. Easy peasy. Uh, that's the way to the den of evil, which we've already taken care of. So yeah, there is no need whatsoever to return to any of the dens of evil. Um, and I believe uh, Twitch and Vinegar are still here bathing. Yep, Twitch and Vinegar are still here bathing. So, we're gonna... Get to climbing. Yes, I believe the only way for us to get this is to... Go down here. Which is a lot easier to do with, well, ow. You know, um, Risky's hat than without it. It's still possible to do it without her hat, it's just a lot easier to do with it. Because you can slow the descent. Alright, I was completely bloody wrong. Sadly, that water is not a hot spring, so no health recovery in it. Which is sad. So let us get this up and running again. Okay, that's a precarious spot. Okay, the best part is that we've actually seen one of those sarcophagi before here. But I have a feeling that I'm going completely the wrong way. You know, I, ca I can't quite shake that feeling that I am going just the wrong way. Just wrong way with capital W. Let's go. <laughs> Ow. Alright, let's try this jump again. There we go. Alright, this feels right. And I'm pressing the wrong button constantly to get to the bento box and heal. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've only been recording for like 19 minutes. It is not quite time to end this yet. There we are. So, make a quick sketch. So, with that. We get the achievement Avoided the Curse. Now I've sketched all three mummy carvings. I should be able to figure out the design. Hmm. Oh! Each shape represents an animal, and they're arranged in a very specific pattern. Which means the combination to the temple to that temple door is Gator Lion Gator. It is completely random from playthrough to playthrough, so even if you do this. Uh, in another playthrough first, you are never guaranteed to get the same combination twice.
And by just going back to grab that, we have finished Saliva Island. <laughs> oh boy. You see, folks, this is what happens when the game gives gives you a bare minimum map. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, we're going back to that temple door and then we will end off the episode. Ow. There we are. Nope. There we are. Okay, we might as well heal. That could have actually freaking killed me. So, in order to solve this, we need to go Gator, Lion, Gra Gator. So we can see up here that we have Gator, Frog, Gator. Fish, Bird, Lion. Then this needs to be a Gator. There we are. And the door is opened. In we go. The Tan Line Temple. We will see what awaits us in this place next time. See you then.